We are arriving. It is rainy. There's the Grand Destino Tower. After a long car ride. Where do I go? That would be a parking spot, right? That'd be a good yeah, guess. parking spot would be a good start. We'll make yeah. our way around and give a full tour. Someone. So pretty with all the trees. It's much bigger than it seems in other photos and videos. We're first timers for this. and there's a bus stop right there. I'm excited, I actually kind of wanted the casitas. So we'll see how our standard room is. And here is the room. Nice and cozy, super cute. They got some TV ads on. The bathroom, the shower and everything. I'm actually finally gonna try H2O products. We've never stayed at a Disney resort before, so it's the first time. Ooh. All right, so we just unpacked. We're about to go check out the Lake Lagoon. I'm not sure what it's called. I think we're gonna grab something to eat. We might go to the Laguna Bar um, and get a margarita and walk around because this resort was beautiful in the daytime, even in the rain, but I think it's gonna be so much more beautiful at night with all the lights. We're super tired from coming off the really long drive, but we're gonna rally and we're gonna check it out and we're gonna eat and I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing. <laughs> Dahlia Lounge. 
Oh, I can't wait to get out on that balcony. Look at this view. There would be fireworks. And I got a spicy margarita. Looks really good, actually, with a beautiful view. Heard the soundtrack and it's good, so Scott, come on, I, he's done. I kicked him out. Bye. We're just walking separately. Look at him. We are at three bridges, <gasps> three bridges again with guac and waters and steak. doing our first pool day. It's a little cloudy. A little cloudy, but nothing bad. It's kind of warm. Okay, it's a little packed. It's only 10. And there's ping pong. There's cornhole. There's a playground. I just don't want to get little kids in it, so I'm just going to do it quickly. I got a sunrise mimosa. We're actually going to the Casitas pool because it was a little crowded at the big site. Yeah, there's a lot of people there. Just better, you know, swimming by yourself or obviously with Nicole. No, Nicole, you can stay actually. If you want. I'll go swimming. Oh, nice. But yeah, there's a lot of kids going down the slides and stuff, which is totally fine and fun. Um, but we just kind of wanted to get a drink and like sit by the edge of the pool. So we're going to do that. We're back at the Casitas pool. Got my little shelf. Well, one of the maids just gave us leftover beer. So this sweet room service cast member called us over and she's like, here, 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 take it. And we're like, okay. We ended up not drinking it, but she was super sweet. So we didn't want to turn her down. So that's all you, babe. She snuck it to us. And she also snuck us. What's that? Oh, chippies. We did eat these chips though. Dude, I love her. She just keeps going, hey, 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 we got more. <laughs> He's a bomb. Picked up food from Siestas, which is right by the dig site. Scott is obsessed with these jalapeno mac and cheese bites. They are so good. And he got a cheeseburger, but wow. This looks so, so good. Okay, well, Scott is watching West Ham. He's not West Ham. Always. He's either watching football or soccer in the yeah, pool. This is the pool day. This is a nice, relaxing pool day. I'm just, well, I'm just um, recording it for historical statistic purposes. What? That this happens. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's move? fine. Enjoy your soccer. I'm, I'm going to go step back on my ledge. There's a little ledge over there in the pool. I forgot to show, there's a bag of pepperoni that we also got from the lovely maid, Sigley. Mm -hmm. Scott's using it to hold up his phone with this game, but yeah. it's, a, it's a great stand right now, and maybe I'll have some in a bit if I get hungry. And he, in fact, did not have any pepperoni. <laughs> Perfect. We are headed to Maya Grill for an impromptu dinner after our pool day. I've been obsessed with like chips, guac, queso, nachos, all that fun stuff, and they have that stuff there, so we're going to try it out because they had open resumes. But it's a beautiful day. We're still tired from the pool, but we figured just like do a dinner, oh, wow. throw ourselves together a little bit, do a dinner. Got my dress on. Scott's got his polo on. And we got seated. 
planted right by this beautiful tree. In the case of Fandido. And I got a taco salad, and Scott got a quesadilla. Look at this. Scott got a churro Sunday. It's a, so good. It's a good way of putting it. It's a churro sundae. Churro sundae. First bite, baby. Just do like a whole. Just yeah. shove it that. Shove it in. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Desserts hit too. Wow, very good, my girl. Mm -hmm. We're heading to Three Bridges. Finally to try dinner. It's a little cold. It's like 60, probably just 60 degrees now. Um, but I think there's heaters there. So we're going to try to sing Grand Plate and some of the dips that we've heard are so good. Okay, so I got this sangria plate. So the top one, she said do it top to bottom. This is a sparkling one, it's a little bit lighter. This is a blanco one, um, it has some peach in there. This is a rose base, and it also has mango rum, which is really interesting. And then this is what she said is a classic red. So I'm gonna try it from top to bottom. So we'll start with the sparkling. Mm, oh my gosh. I knew this would be one of, well, I haven't tried the others, but I love Prosecco based things. And this is very like light, but has a strawberry taste to it. Let's try the blanco. It tastes a little lemon in that one, like it's kind of sour at the end. Not my favorite. I don't taste the wine much. Let's try this. I'm most interested in this one. Oh wow, that is very sweet. I like it. I can't have a full glass of it. This is the perfect amount, but it's pretty good. And let's try the classic. Classic sangria with a little oh, bite at the end. Nice orange taste. Overall, good sampler. Definitely gonna finish this one and this one. We'll see what goes. <laughs> What's your least favorite right now? My least favorite is this one. Why is that? So my number one is this. Number one, two, three, and four. This is just very lemony. And I'm not a big fan of that, but it's pretty good. Actually, right, so I got a cold brew old fashioned. Through old fashioned. It's actually kind of chocolatey. I don't chocolate. know if there's like actually like kind of like chocolate bitters or something in it. It's not like your regular old fashioned where it has that kind of like really strong bite on it, but it's kind of nice at the beginning where you get the chocolate at the middle and you feel a little bit of the whiskey towards the end once you swallow and stuff, but at the end it's kind of nice and just chocolatey. Yeah, delicious. We're gonna enjoy. Cheers. The queso chorizo dip. I've heard it's very good. Get some of this chorizo. Mm, that's good. Kind of sweet. And we also got the fried chicken bao bun. Look at that. And they have some pickles in them. And these are bite. Oh Looks to be a little messy. All over my face. That sauce. It's good. Sweet. Yeah, it, it's all really good. fantastic. I stupidly took a bite of this hot pepper with the seeds. My mouth is like a fire breathing dragon, but these tacos, this salsa right here, I don't know what the flavor is. It's like sweet. Oh my gosh, these are phenomenal. <laughs> 
Okay, we have churros with a chocolate and cinnamon sauce. It's a tequila caramel, and I totally did not listen when she said what this I, one was. I didn't either, not going. I have no clue what that is. I don't know, but you can try it and see how you like it. Scott likes churros, I don't. Like it? It's not as um, <laughs> it's not as doughy as normal, like normal churros. But they almost feel lighter than normal churros. Mm. They're very, very fresh though. It's very light. I'd say if you want like just a simple dessert, this is a good one too. Okay, nice view. We're very full. So we got coffee, lunch needed. We just came off an Epcot day. We're super tired, but we're gonna go to the Mercado and get breakfast. Mm -hmm. Our first ever Mickey waffle. We hope. We hope. We're super excited. I got my first ever Mickey waffle. Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try it. Let's eat in here. Oh my gosh. She apparently wanted to do it with no syrup. Well, I want to try it authentically first, you know? Mmm. That's good. It definitely needs syrup, but I like fluffy and yummy. I'm having. We're, there's a Skyliner. We're checking out resorts that we haven't seen before. This is some B-roll footage of all these cute resorts on an off day. chickens with our head cut off because we couldn't park in the contemporary because I guess holiday parking gets busy we didn't have a dining reservation then we got a quick dining reservation to park at the Grand Floridian and we couldn't because it's three hour parking and yada 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 so now we're going to the ITT but future Nicole and Scott let's remember this for our next time yes logistics update we're far parked far in Magic Kingdom now we gotta walk but at least it's a nice day Perfect. We got our steps in and looking at the bright side, you know? Yeah, that's on the ceiling. Yep, so note to self, if you want to do any sort of dining or any bar hopping or stuff like that at the monorail um, resorts, make sure to do a reservation somewhere else. You're not going to be able to park there. And they're going to make you go to the ITT and park there. Approved. Approaching Steakhouse 71 to see you. If we could get in, fingers crossed. And we 
got a spot at the bar. It is a limited menu. But we got crab cakes and the burger. The French 71. And Scott got Curious cold brew. Look at those fork and knife Caesar salad. Oh, to die for. We got crab cookies. Got that. The burger. Checking out the shoppy shoppies. First egg. Mike and Look at all these Christmas treats. How cute. It's a gingerbread castle. Alright, a Mai Tai and the coveted Lapu. Lapu. At the Pali. Woo! So we got online a little before 1.30 and about quarter to two they started taking names for the waiting list and they texted us right at three when it opened to get in. His under eyes are sweating. Where? Let me see. I just wiped them away now. Oh yeah, no more. Okay. I don't, I don't do good with heat. All right. The sun just went in a little bit, but it's still nice. They're doing the Hawaiian version. Scott's over it. Over it. We just need to get a Trader Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I was very into dancing with the stars prior to this trip, so clearly I just wanted to take a dance break because I was bored. <laughs> Don't judge. All right, Nicole's going shopping. She's here to spend. Shopping is also something I'm obsessed with, so we decided to kill time by doing that too. All of my money. Oh yeah, all of our money. Hmm, you see how she throws that R in there? You know, but whose card gets swiped every time? Huh, Nicole? Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh, she pointed to herself. We're going to remember that, guys, all right? We're going to remember that. And we checked out this beautiful Christmas tree. The Polynesian is it's just so cute. Tropical vibes. And it smells so good in here as well. We're almost ready. I put a poll up on my Instagram stories to see if I should get the black or the gray Walt Disney World hoodies up up. Because I'm so indecisive, I can't decide things on my own. That sounds about right. Yeah, We're sitting in the in the grass, just waiting for our Trader Sam's text. Just I read the text, then took, we can go in. Took a video of uh, Scott's toe. Great, wonderful. Everyone needs to see those. No, they don't.
Well, our table is gone. We had a lot of friends here. Scott and I are about to leave. They all just left us, but it was a good it's day. Just us. Just us. I get to take my pearl home. Good rum chata drink. It's like empty in here now. So fun. All right, this is what I decided on the pool said gray. I'm gonna get it. Well, Trader Sam's it was so much fun. We met so many good friends, and now we are off to the Grand Floridian to the Enchanted Rose for the first time. I got my new sweater on. Seventy-five dollars later, but a hey, it'll keep me warm, so it's worth it. All right, got to a coconut meatball. These were my all-time favorite food on this trip. I got them twice. It might have been three times. In this beautiful... Yeah. Time to hip-hop on over to Grand Floridian. We're gonna get a cake pop from Gasparilla Island Grove. And then we're gonna go to the Enchanted Rose. We made it to the Grand Floridian. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. We're online for the Enchanted Rose, and we're almost there. Scott's ready. Right, we are seated in the corner. You have AirPods. Scott says this is an awkward chair. It's either this, or it's this, or it's this. It's Aww. like, what do you, what do you Fancy. pick? What do you pick? Fancy. I don't. This is like too much, you know. Yeah. Oh, so late. Scott got an old fashioned, and I got an espresso martini from the Enchanted Rose. Thank you, Scott. It's a good espresso martini. I feel like Belle parading through the town. It's a solid old fashioned on the day off. Yeah. Nothing like special, but it definitely gets a job done. That's it. That's it. And we got the truffle fry. Sorry, babe. It's fine. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yummy. Aww. Look at the rose. So pretty. Heading to Gasparilla Island Girl to get my, I think it's a gingerbread cream cheese cake pop. I'm pretty no, excited. Because it's gingerbread. It does. Oh. My prize is a brownie present cake pop with sparkly sparkles. Finished at the Grand Flow. We did our whole resort hop. And I ate my brownie. Oh, Monorail, hi. Sorry, it's red and green for Christmas. I just had to show it off. I ate a little bit of my brownie cake pop. It was too pepperminy for me, so I didn't finish it. But we're taking a walk now, a little stroll back to the car. It's a very, very long walk, like two miles. Oh yeah. Which is okay because we've had a lot to eat and drink today, so we need to walk. We're all alone on the ferry. Nobody's here, nobody's here. Again, channeling my inner dancing with the stars. We are headed to the Animal Kingdom Lodge to try breakfast at Boma. We've never been there, so we're gonna check it out. Maybe we'll pick up some zebra domes too, because I've heard they're so good. That sounds like we're gonna make a stop for some zebra domes right now. As but a husband, I, I, I understand that point. And it's a beautiful day today. It's gonna be 83, hottest that it's been.
or Nyla Brownie, like our cat's name, spelled a little differently, but they have so much good stuff. Picked up zebra domes to try after Boma. We got a nice seat at Boma, nice little view. We have the whole buffet back there. So much, so much food. I grabbed the bread pudding with vanilla sauce and the sticky bun. Oh my gosh, try to bite of both. I'm in heaven. Now I'm gonna go back for the savory. All right, this spread we got coconut oatmeal with banana chips. Oh, thank you. We got ham with spicy mustard, spinach feta scrambled. We got a drowned Simba waffle that's got put too much sugar on. Got the bread pudding and this watermelon salad and this is Scott's coffee. It's a spiked coffee with a zebra dome on top. It all looks so delicious. Scott made himself a breakfast sandwich. Also I tried the zebra dome and it's fabulous. Got Kahlua in there I think. You like it? Yummy yummy. We're just gonna enjoy and feast. We're playing a little game of play. press the car key and uh Try to find the car. We're following the noise. Okay, we found him. I totally forgot to give an update on Boma because it was so crazy crowded in there. Scott's currently pulling the car away while I'm outside. Um, it was good. The bread pudding was probably the best part. Um, unlimited pog juice was cool too. Would we do it again? We wouldn't have to do it again since we already tried it, but I don't know. We could, I guess. I just feel like if you're not a buffet person, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. Um, especially because you know, you're waiting on lines to get multiple things of food. Um, and during the week that we are now, this is what, first week of December? There's a lot of people here. A lot, a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's this Sunday, so check in has been crazy. But and it's a cute resort, I do like it. Now we're checking out Shades of Green Resort, which is the resort that you can stay at if you are military or civilian DOD. Um, which Scott civilian DOD, so we might stay here on our next trip, but we're just kind of it's like, checking it out. It's super, super cheap, and it looks nice for what you get to. Yeah, I'll show the lobby. It's cute at Christmas time. I don't know what it's like not at Christmas time, but we'll we'll show you. There's a cute Christmas tree. It has a log cabin kind of feel to it. Let's see. Look how cute. Oh, have um, the start of some of the golf golf courses. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here's a little, right by the pool, it's a little Chippendales Deli where they have some drinks and food. And the pool is right there, so. Oh, that's great. It's a pretty close walk up. Yeah, it looks very nice ground. If you like golf and you're in the military or civilian, it's probably a good deal. And it also looks like all of the rooms have some kind of a balcony, which is always a a huge plus, especially when the grounds are as nice as they are here. Of course, a nice day will make anything look nice, but yeah. Looks like a little pizza by the quick service bar here. Oh yeah, there's a restaurant. There's, I think there's like a couple restaurants and quick service areas. There's also an area to get coffee um, in the front, and they have some pastries and ice cream as well. So, that's never a bad thing. And then we're outside checking out the pool. I don't know if this is the only pool, but it's got two sides to it. A little walk on and stuff. That's really nice. We checked out. We checked out this pool. We came through here? Yes. So we checked out this pool. Apparently there's another huge pool area. And that's just some lakes. But it's definitely a pretty big place. Yeah. Since I neglected to show it when we came in, this is the front entryway to Shades of Green. It's so nice. It's, it reminds me of if Living with the Land were a resort, this would be Living with the Land. And Scott agreed with me. Very true. All right. Beautiful. All right. Found the other pool. There's a water slide. And last pool in there. There's the slide. Um, and then it looks like more food and drink. Right here, some tables. Yeah. Nice. And 
know, it's like they have some games and a playground right by the pool for kiddos, so not a bad place to come. Oh, sorry, babe. Oh, Evergreen Sports Bar. Let's take a look at this. Let's walk up. All right, here's a little take a walk up window for a takeout. And yeah, but yeah, that's what it looks like inside. And in the same place as Evergreens, there's this arcade. Credits, and you can get some pool tables. Okay, they also have free water you can take. Well, all water is free, but it was easy access. And we got a Mai Tai because that's our go-to vacation drink just to see how comparable it is price-wise and taste-wise to the Disney resorts. It was $10, which is about four to $5 less than the Disney resorts. And I'm gonna see how it is. Okay. All right. Mm. Not as good. Colors Not as cool. strong. Yeah, colors seem a little it, It's missing a little bit of rum, but. Yeah. I would say it doesn't taste like a Mai Tai. No. But for five, four to five dollars less, maybe it's not so bad. Oh. And I'm back with yet another review because I usually actually get a margarita. Scott gets the Mai Tai, so I figured I would try it. It was $10 as well. good this yeah this is better than my tie it's a standard margarita but again 10 bucks disney resort it'll be like 15 so so that's the pool right there there's some rooms i will say it does smell a little bit musty in here so the inside's not the greatest but if that's really the only issue is it really an issue? Here's the other pool we just showed. Here's some more. Here's a garden gallery. They have some food and Mangino's was the Italian restaurant near there. So here's garden gallery and then Mangino's is through here. Oh, they have Bluey on the TV. If you have a kiddo, you know what I'm talking about. Here's Mangino's. They're not open yet, but they have it's cute in there. And today is a beautiful, beautiful day to explore Disney Springs. I think we're gonna go to Port Orleans um, to get beignets for the first time. We never had them. We're gonna take the little boat from Disney Springs over there and then do Wine Bar George, do uh, Jack Lindsay's Hangar Bar because they have this like um, holiday overlay type stuff. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Ooh, the sun's out, you can see our shadows, like you should have been. Just kidding. Um, we're heading to the boat to find the boat where we go to Port Orleans. I'm gonna do a little montage of the Christmas trees show because the trees are so beautiful. But like, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful day. Look at this. So we found the boat docks from by Rainforest Cafe, so we're walking there. But we've actually never walked this, this stretch here. And I love it so much, it's gorgeous. Well, we made it to French Quarter. It's very pretty so far. I love the journey. It took like 15 minutes. Um, the whole pool is a shelf around it, too. Oh, it does? I don't know if we can see, but can we see? Can we see the pool? I'm short, so my arm doesn't reach too far, but yeah, we're heading to Scat, Scat Cats. Scat Cats? I think. Tongue twister. To get the news. Like very nice. Here at Ooh, New Orleans. 
and I'm currently peeking through the window and I see the most fun Christmas trees that I've ever seen in my entire life. Kind of walk five in my house. And like, here it is. What? How colorful and amazing is that? Like, even the garland. So cool. Look at this. My fingers are burning. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. I got chocolate. I'm gonna take a bite. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Heaven. The chocolate's good. Too. Very, very good. Well, we each ate one whole one and I took a bite of this one's ear. These are really, honestly, fantastic. They are very good. I would get them when we were home. Like, if we had them at home, I would get them again. Yeah, me too. All right, time to go. Thousand percent, getting that. Look at this. So cute. Chocolate peppermint, cookies and cream, and salted caramel. Oh. Scott's lineup is... It's pretty much how they're set up, uh, right to left. You get the cookies and cream one, the caramel one, and then that's the peppermint one. Yeah, and yeah. my lineup is this, then this, then this. Here? Yeah. Alright. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ham and cheese trees. Alright, I have to say, those ham and cheese trees were friggin' bomb. And the hot chocolate plate was good too, but it's kind of heavy. I feel like we should have stayed it for dessert. And now I think we're gonna head to Paradiso 37 for margarita and chips and salsa, my favorite food in the entire, entire, entire world. Now we're checking out the Edison. We actually were here one time a bit ago and haven't been back. So we're gonna try it out. It's cool vibes. <laughs> Now we're just gonna go take a walk around Saratoga Springs because we both have to be doing something. We can't just sit around. This is how we are, so we're gonna do that. We were playing geography at Edison, who knows which states, and we both need to go back to seventh grade. We've come to that determination. And now we're taking a walk along the water. We love walking. We're walking through Saratoga Springs. Just checking it out. It's really nice. There was a dog that was galloping around yeah. behind us. You may be able to see if I'm creep. Service dog. I don't know if you saw, but I tried. Scott is over me and my demands. He said there's something about a furlong, and I was like, how long is a furlong? And then I was like, let's go through the pool and, and all the walkways. And he's our logistics guy, right? He's just trying to make sure. Don't give me that look. He's just trying to make sure that we can make it back to Jenny Spring for our wine bar George Reservation at five. And I appreciate that. I just go with the phone, you know? I just walk. So I saw these bike rentals for $25. And I was like, Scott, can we please, 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 please? I said, I'll pay for it myself. <laughs> I had to pick this up. It's fun fatty cake with cream cheese icing. Come on. It's gonna melt, but it's okay. Saratoga Springs is a very nice resort. 
and my sweet holiday funfetti treat is hitting the spot. It's very good. Scott's so nice. He just said I had cake on my forehead and he wiped it off for me. She did. How, how does she get cake on her forehead? How does that even happen? I just enjoy it so much that just like pew, just throw it on your face. Just goes pew, like fireworks. It was fun, Freddy cake. So I guess it makes sense, right? But we're walking back right now to Disney Springs. We have a wine bar George reservation for dinner at 5 p.m. First time trying it. I hope we get a seat on the balcony so we can kind of overlook the springs. It's at sunset too. I think the sunset's around six around here. But yeah, so it should be nice. Um, we made it in. We're seated inside. It's nice in here. We're gonna try some wine. Oh, hi. Scott's back hurts. Back and body hurts. I'm old. Um, me too. Great. I got a penly coming in. I tried to do the wine test. I don't know what I'm doing, and I said I picked it off the name. Got a good bite to it though. So it works. Alright, we got the meatballs with I think a cheese polenta and the mac and cheese bites. Scott tried the cheese polenta. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I, I'm, you look at me. I don't look like a polenta guy. It's also the first time I've ever heard that word. Oh. Ooh, the sauce is good. Sauce is good? Sauce is good. Oh, oh, oh yeah, buddy. That's probably so good and cheesy. Oh, yeah. We're gonna steal a bite of meat. Oh. I'm just gonna bite it like this. Hmm. I, I can tell it's made with like some kind of specific dealy meat or something. It's actually not my favorite meatball. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan. But let me try the mac and cheese first. That, that was good. Get some sauce. Chucking to Raglan Road, his favorite. It's a fun Irish bar. Hopefully, we can go right in just sit at the bar. We don't have to, like have any waitering. Yeah, just to watch the dancers get some bread pudding and a coffee. Oh, but look how pretty this sky and the lanterns are. Oh my, here it is though. Raglan Road, the hole in the wall. I don't know. It's not really a hole in the wall. It's pretty good. Pretty good to me. some coffee. Ooh, that's zoomed in on you. What? Ooh, that's really zoomed Oh, buddy. Look at those Irish guys. <laughs> we both got our coffee drinks and we're waiting for our bread pudding. We always get it here. Very, very good. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now here is a montage of the beautiful Christmas trees from Disney Springs Christmas Tree Stroll.
If you want the Cantilla Trio plus your Berea quesadilla plus everything else you ate today, it's vacation. You can do that. You can eat whatever you want. Look at that smirk. But honestly, he was right because I was more full than I'd ever been in my entire life. And I had so much trouble sleeping that night after eating the food truck food and everything else. Scott, I'm on him because we're getting um, we're getting food truck like birria and chips and stuff. And I was like, I ordered my quesadilla, but can you order the, the trio of chips so I don't look fat? And he just left me hanging. But you know what? It's vacation. I'm not cutting calories on vacation. I'll do that when I get home. Yeah, she made the, you know, she broke the cardinal rule of letting me order first. So I said mine and I just looked at her and smiled. What would you like, babe? And like I said, we just love to eat. I already ate a piece of my birria quesadilla. Nicole. And we got chips. <laughs> guess guys. <laughs> oh, oh, guess I'll help. Oh, you don't need help, all right. <laughs> Prioritizing the food, you know. Going back to our resort room. Going to eat and go to bed because mm -hmm. that's just how we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Love you.